one thing I would say is I, I think there's like a confusion on language. This is a there's crypto, and then there's distributed ledger technology. There's blockchain, and there's tokenization. Okay, you can have something be tokenized without it being crypto. It doesn't have to be on a blockchain. It doesn't actually have to be on distributed ledger technology. Now, it might be great to use digital distributed ledger technology and blockchain because it's just easy for everybody to access it, right? That's not JP Morgan's view. JP Morgan's going to like just put it on a chain and, and they're just basically using a permission chain. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter whether that chain was Oracle or it could be like a MySQL database, but people are getting caught up in the, you know, in the technology and the linguistic names. All that matters when something is tokenized is can it move around the same way a poker chip moves around? Once you have a poker chip, you can move from one table to the next. You can use the same poker chips at the blackjack table as you can at the poker table. We're just talking now about a poker chip that can be used at the casino across the road. And now you can use it at 7-Eleven as well. So let's, let's appreciate the value of tokenization independent of distributed ledger technology, blockchain, and crypto, all of which are good. <laughs> But let's just value tokenization because it's not just going to happen to the dollar. There's $470 trillion of assets out there. So eventually, the title to your house, the title to your car, those things can all move around as a token. And that will be more efficient, faster, simpler, more interoperable for all of us. So the move toward tokenization, I believe, is, is, is inevitable. Obviously, I think we get there better and faster if we did it with <laughs> distributed ledger technology and blockchain. And I think one of the things it should interoperate with is crypto, but you don't need all that stuff to do tokenization. And you shouldn't be afraid of tokenization, even if you're afraid of those other things. I'm not afraid of any of those things. I want everybody to get, get comfortable with it, but you don't have to like swallow all four of those pills all at once to get comfortable with the fact that a deposit token might be a great way to, to, to basically make just interactions between all these different transactions, all these different websites, all these different entities, more portable, more interoperable, cheaper, faster. So I'm super excited about that. Love stable coins. All I'm here to say is deposit tokens might be even better.